Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about your skin barrier, also known as your moisture skin barrier. So it's basically the foundation on how to maintain healthy, glowy skin. So if you clicked on this video, you're either somebody like me who's on a serious number to their skin barrier, whether it's from the sun or other environmental factors, or you're just curious about what products help restore and protect your moisture skin barrier. But either way, I feel like this is a really good topic because for some reason, a lot of like skincare influencers and people on the internet don't talk about the importance of like a healthy skin barrier. It's literally the foundation of good skincare and health. So first I wanna talk about what is the moisture skin barrier, how to protect your skin barrier, what damages it, and then I also wanna talk about, of course, the products that are used to help maintain it. Okay, so bear with me. We're gonna get a little bit sciency just for a brief moment though. Please don't click away yet. So your skin is made up of multiple different layers and this outermost layer is the most important. It's our first line of defense from the outside world. And that outermost layer is called the stratum corneum and it's made up of tiny little durable cells called corneocytes and they're bound together by lipids. So in this outermost layer, you have keratin and other natural moisturizers. And then within the lipid layer, you have ceramides, cholesterol, and other fatty acids that really keep that moisture in and keep your skin looking bouncy and healthy. And so that's why a lot of people also call it your moisture skin barrier because water is literally being like sealed and sucked into your skin to maintain its suppleness, right? So moisture, suppleness, and dewiness aside, it also helps prevent toxins and pathogens from entering your skin and your body. And so by doing this, it really, it actually is slightly acidic. So that's why everybody talks about your pH and maintaining a good pH balance on your face because it is slightly acidic. So you wanna maintain that acidity, but you don't wanna overdo it because then if it's unbalanced, again, issues arise and the whole point is maintaining and balancing your skin barrier so you don't want to do too much of one thing you want to make sure it's that perfect equilibrium equilibrium homeostasis balance you guys get it okay so boom if you stayed this far then you know enough about your skin barrier to really get started i feel like it's so important because it helps us pick out how we want to maintain our skincare routine if we have dry skin that's why we want to combat that if we have oily skin that's why we want to combat that because the whole point like i said is to maintain that balance right so if you know how to keep your skin barrier at its peak then you know what you need to do in order to keep it at its peak and in process we will look cute we will look shiny glowy dewy um not overtly greasy not dry and flaky this also helps acne prone skin i mean it's it's everything this is everything that's why i'm like so confused why people don't talk about this more especially like these influencers out there i think probably it's because everybody's trying to promote like different products and everything and they want to push 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 and people just like get so overstimulated by everything that they forget about the basics you know so we're going to tone it back we're gonna tone it back and just like simplify it. And so anyways, let's get into what can damage your skin barrier because I am too good at that. I'm a professional damaging skincare, skin barrier enthusiast, okay? <laughs> so my favorite ways to damage my skin is from the sun, from being outside, collecting pollutants into my skin. I also love to have stress, you know? And stress just really unbalances your hormone levels and in turn your skin. What other things do I love to do that ruins my skin? Hmm. Oh, you remember like when we were younger and we used those like face washes? I said that weird face washes with those little tiny plastic microplastics so bad for the environment and bad for our skin. And they leave like those micro abrasions and everything. Remember like the scandal with Kylie's skin and she had like those little tiny bits of uh, what type of nut? It was some type of nut that left like skin abrasions and everything. That is damaging to your skin barrier over exfoliating. Um, we said sun, stress, what else? Allergens, dry environments, humid environments, literally everything everything we're not safe we're not safe but all we can do is try and try we will all right guys let's play a quick game who can tell me how to protect their skin from the sun did you say sunscreen did you say spf okay sorry i don't know i, th I thought i was gonna do like a fun like interactive moment like dora um but yeah wear sunscreen wear some spf on your face daily daily 
So these two lovely products with me are very good for protecting your skin barrier, repairing it, restoring it, all that type of good stuff. And we're gonna talk about why. So this first one is actually a new brand. What is it called again? It's called Celidix. And it's a K-Beauty brand and it's really cool because it has everything that I said our lipid layer was made out of. Ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. It has all of that in there, all three. It's a three in one basically. <laughs> Um, but no, it's really good. It's an ampoule and it is highly concentrated though. So if you do have sensitive skin, you've been warned. And I'm just kind of saying that to say that because I have sensitive skin and I haven't noticed any itchy burning feeling or any type of redness, anything like that. This has been really good. It also like reduces like your pore size and it has like um, this process, right? It's like a two week process that melts and disintegrates those like little tiny sebum things that we get. Like, can you see my pores? Tell me no, because I got really close to the camera there. Tell me no. You can't see my pores. Yeah, so I use this for like two weeks. Live, laugh, love this. And then I take a break. And then I like do it again. You know, it's a process. It's a process. Okay. So speaking of like maintaining the basics, right? We're going to talk about The Ordinary. The Ordinary is a really good brand for keeping things simple, keeping things ordinary, because if we overcomplicate our skin and our skincare products, then we overcomplicate everything. And then we'll get overcomplicated acne and overcomplicated skin problems. All right, I need to bring it back. I need to bring it back. So this is actually really cool because it's, it's, it's Pepnobismol. No, just kidding. No, but it is pink. It is pink. See, pink. It doesn't look pink on your face but the product is pink. All right, we get it, it's pink. We love pink. Peppa. All right, I'm just gonna read it to you guys so I'm not wrong. So this also has lipids, vitamins, phytotechnologies, and epidermal repair. Look, 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 I'm not a scientist. Actually, I am an environmental scientist, but I'm not like a bioengineering type of scientist, okay? But this works really good and it really helps stabilize your skin. Again, 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 if you're somebody like me, who loves damaging your skin, then that's why I'm talking about like these types of products. But of course, it's very good to use like light things, like a light oil cleanser, which I have right here. I've talked about it in another video. This one, it's a very nice light oil cleanser. And then not using like super acidic um, face washes. So stick to like water-based, like gel cleansers. Those are really good for like, you know, like the double cleansing process and just the cleansing of your face in general. Um, and remember, we don't want to like over exfoliate. So definitely stay away from those other face washes I was telling you guys about. But I think we're long past those nasty face wash, beady. You guys get it. So for the longest time, I was like scared of toners. I don't know why. I was just like, I felt like it was complicated. It's really not. It's really not. You just want to stay away from like alcohol toners because I feel like that was the introduction of toners. They were all like alcohol based. Who, who thought that? Who thought that? I don't know. But this is like a really good one. Another one I've talked about in a previous video. Um, it's fragrance free. It's alcohol free. Yeah, basically, just get a toner that is alcohol free and you should be good to go. And you can even like layer it. My friend was telling me about that. And I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that? And I feel like it's really changed the game for me. Layering toner. Using toner. Oh my god. And obviously, moisturizing your skin is super important to maintaining your skin health and keeping it moist. Moist. Keeping it moisturized and hydrated. It's really important. So aside from putting moisturizer on your face, drink water, folks. Yeah, drink water. Drink water. Even if you have to put a little lemon um what else teas are good we love a tea maybe not milk tea i mean i do love a boba milk tea but anyways I'm, I'm getting off topic guys stay hydrated keep your skin hydrated don't do anything super crazy with your skin maintain that barrier and then come back and thank me later no, but for real though, I've really made it an effort. I'm somebody who literally was working in like the environmental world, but they put me in the construction department. So I was working 12 freaking hours a day in the scorching, blazing, dry sun. This was in California. I live in Florida now. So now it's like super humid, which also isn't good. 
you guys, I need to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I've been having so much fun talking about skincare and I think you guys have been too because I've been getting like more viewers because I've been talking about this stuff. So I'm happy that we're all like in this community together. We're on this journey together. And if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Because like I said, I'm not a biochemical pharmacist, scientist type person, okay? So if you guys have tips and tricks, please, I really wanna know, please let me know so I can try them out. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.